Candy corn. No, at yeah. all. I think I think I think I'm good with all my that. My kids like those candy pumpkin ones, which essentially are kind of the same thing. But a little bit. Yeah. I don't similar. know. All right, Pete's on the weather deck for us now. Pete, we know that you love to dress up for Halloween. Yes. What's your favorite candy? Oh, man, I, I do like Reese's and I, the, the the cups, and then of course mints like peppermint patty or junior mm. mints. What is Peeps doing in there? Is that the wrong holiday? You mean like the Easter Peeps? Anyway, ah, uh, you know. Sugar high, that's October 31st into November 1st. For here in central New York, it does look and feel more like October. Right now, we've got a steely gray sky, but nothing falling from the sky, at least here in central New York. Let's look back and look ahead to temperatures. You might remember that ridiculous weather we had with the warmth. Well, it wasn't just above average. It was record setting. In fact, we had six straight days to start the month where we were double digits above average for the high temperature. And yes, that included an 89, an all time high on Wednesday, October 24th. More recently, we've been very close to normal, even today and yesterday, just barely below normal at minus four. You're going to say, well, what are these light green uh, days and numbers? Well, these are the next seven days. Notice that other than Saturday and Saturday, Saturday is going to be highly dependent on how much rain we get. Numbers are pretty close to average. You'll see this now tracking temperatures. The same numbers on the bottom line that I just showed you and now the actual temperature for a high. And notice other than Saturday, numbers are pretty close to average. Now I've taken Saturday down to 50. Why? because I think it's going to be raining, especially from the thruway southward. The further north you get, the better the chance that you're drier. But Saturday still looks like a rainy day. Now, back it up. Let's talk about tonight and take you progressively night by night and day by day. Well, we still have the southwesterly, west southwesterly wind. Falsa service experts, live triple Doppler radar showing you that that means most of the consistent lake effect rain showers are in those spots. But then you see this kind of blobby area over here. There's actually within the lake effect a regular area of light rain that's going to pass over the area. And you'll see this on the future cast. This is the lake showers. And then there's that blobby rain right there moving over central New York while you're sleeping. By tomorrow morning, probably most of that is gone. So expects for most of us to get a little bit of rain. Nothing earth shattering, but the showers that are heaviest will be northeast of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario in those positions. Then on Wednesday, again, way north and west is where most of the consistent showers will be. Clouds should mix with some sun. We should be in the upper 50s to lower 60s. And then, yes, during the afternoon, there may be another passing shower. But notice that the wettest weather is again in the same position that we just mentioned. We look ahead to Wednesday night, some leftover showers again east of Lake Ontario. Winds become more westerly. I think we get a mix of sun and clouds for Syracuse, the Route 31 throughway and Route 20 corridors for the first half of the day. And some of these clouds will increase maybe a brief sprinkle. But we should be close to 60 or 59 tomorrow, 62 Thursday. And then Friday is dry everywhere, sun and clouds 59. And then there's Saturday. We talked about this yesterday. There's going to be a new system, not lake effect, that'll come through. There are still differences in our computer models, but I am going to go for a rainy day developing with the wettest weather over the southern spots and a high near 50 with drier weather Sunday. Stanley Law Skywatch. Cloudy. But dry for now in downtown Syracuse, but rain is on the way tonight back inside. All right, Pete, we appreciate you trying to work.